Book. There it goes. Quick, quick and easy. The secret to getting it started is to make sure this side of the tire is down all the way on the inside of the rim to give you the most extra up here to, to pry out. Once you get it about this far, it goes real easy. I'm just using a screwdriver. Comes right out. Doing the other side is a little different because you're prying from the inside out, sort of. So you make sure the bottom of the tire is in that deep groove in the middle of the rim. And then you push this top over to the side, put your screwdrivers in there and start working on it. This is what it looks like when you get the first two in there. You can see the bottom is down in the bottom of that groove. Just keep working your way around. I'm replacing the valve stems too. Don't need to worry about it. I pull it out a little bit and take a knife and just cut it right there. Comes right off. Pull that out. And you're ready to clean up the inside of the rim. Make sure there's no nicks. Make sure it's all smooth and ready to put the new tire on. Be sure to check the direction of rotation on the tires. Check it with your rim. This is how it's going to go in. You need to put the valve stem in first and get going on it. Valve stem. Stick it in. And you're going to have to grab it with some pliers and give it a pull usually. There it is. You can kind of feel it when you pull with the pliers. You can kind of feel it when you pull with the pliers. I grab it like this and then just rotate the, the channel locks down and it just pops right into place. I'm going to start like this. Kind of push it down in there as hard as you can to get that, to get that uh, bead in the center of the rim again. And then start while I'm pushing down on it. In fact, I use my knee up here, pushing down on it, I start prying on the tire on either side. I think the key is really pushing down hard on the rim right here to keep it all the way in the tire, keep it from slipping up at the bottom while you pry. I've had halfway now, a couple of more pries and it ought, that first bead ought to be Dang. in. First rim is in, first side. We got to work on this side. This is a little, little different. This side, since I'm going in from the top, what I usually try to do is kind of get the get the rim started like this to get the tire down in that groove, and then work my way around with the screwdriver. Probably shouldn't be using flip flops, but my shoe of choice today. It's a lot harder to do it with one hand. I'm going to put the phone down. Here's the last little bit. Boop. So now the whole thing is on, just need to put some air in there and I uh, might have to jiggle it some to get the beads to set.
here it goes. Oh. Pop. All seated. All seated. Got about 20 pounds in it. I'm going to go up to 30 and I'll be set. Here we go. Front tire ready to go back on. Honda Metropolitan 2002. I already changed the rear wheel or the rear tire. 